in verse 11, because what are we talking about? The new spirit, that new spirit that's in you, your spirit. I'm not talking about the Holy Spirit necessarily. I'm talking about your spirit that's been recreated. This new creation, a new species of being, one translation says that's never existed before. Think about that. He says, in whom, okay, talking about in Christ, also we, 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 all things gathered together, right, have obtained, have obtained, not gonna obtain. Do you get that? Have obtained, already obtained an inheritance. Do you get that? Your inheritance is not waiting on the other side of death. Do you get that? Your inheritance is not waiting for you in heaven. Your reward, he says when he comes, he will come with his reward in his hands, not your inheritance. See, the reward is for the work you do. The inheritance is because of the family you're in. Does that make sense? You get that? Okay. Now, it says, we have, we have obtained, right now, we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who works all things after the counsel of his own will. In other words, he didn't ask nobody. He decided to give us an inheritance. He decided what's in it. Nobody can stop that. Nobody has any degree of authority over that, right? And we get to receive every bit of that inheritance that we want to receive, and we can walk in every bit of it at any time we choose to. Yeah. 